Hello, and welcome back to the last dueling episode. <laughs> I almost said last episode there. No, there are three more episodes coming up of Let's Play Ski Challenge 2014. My name is WW Deadman, but you already know that. And first of all, I've got to thank you guys so much. You've been so, so awesome uh, at, at sending duels and uh, just, just being... Just being awesome, uh, being actively into this uh, throughout this whole Let's Play. Thank you so very much. It means a lot to me. And uh, I, I really hope that uh, we can, well, kind of keep up at least some of this, uh, of this participation uh, for, um, until, for the rest of the year, until the next uh, Ski Challenge comes out. Um, yeah, but enough of my uh, jabbering around here. We've got some dueling to do. We've got a lot of dueling to do. Well, at least uh, they're neatly um, packed up here. <clears throat> Let's start off with Super Floorball. Kitzbühel, oh. Really? Kitzbühel? On snow. Well, I guess I can see if I can still uh, remember how to do kids build on snow. Oh, God, yes, obviously I do. Uh, I'm an idiot, I shouldn't have st stood up there. <laughs> Holy shit, okay. Ouch. That looked painful. Now just don't crash. And everything is fine. Uh, don't ask me how I still managed to get uh, 111 kilometers per hour in that part. Even though I was like literally standing. Not moving in that uh, turn after the first intermediate. Or after the first split, however you want to call it. I guess split would be the easier word to say than intermediate. Oh god! But I kind of like the word intermediate. No, and there I crash, right? At the part where it goes uphill, of course. So I can get maximum uh, time loss out of it. Well, you're pretty close behind me right now. I can hear your skis scraping against the snow. And the ski still glitched through. <laughs> Something that they never fixed. How? Okay, you crashed again, obviously. In that part. I'm sorry. Okay, next challenge. Wengen! Also in snow! Did you purposely use all snow settings? or? I, I mean... <laughs> I think the, the actual the random generator is doing that on purpose to me. Just because I hate snow. Goodbye. Okay, suppress here, suppress here. Um, you know, the song that's play playing right now um, 
of course, uh, copyright free, royalty free music uh, by Kevin Mac. Loud, layered, or whatever his name is pronounced like, um, from incompetech.com. I feel like uh, I've heard that before in an actual uh, ski challenge uh, game. Could be that they used that in one of the earlier games. Because, I mean, it, it fits the ski challenge really well. And no, it's not just that I'm getting used to it right now, uh, for using it pretty much the whole season. Could just be that it, it sounds similar to one that they used previously, but... Or the one they use in this game. Pretty much. Of course, I had to replace the music because uh, there was um, um, content ID matching going on. For the in-game music. Because YouTube obviously doesn't have a... Um, way to uh, deal with bullshit claiming because recently pretty recently I actually got an ID claim on a Binding of Isaac episode and you know the Binding of Isaac the game as well as the music both creators Edmund McMillan and Danny Baranowski I think is his name um, they both gave ex uh, gave complete permission to uh, use their stuff in monetized YouTube videos. Especially in combination, because that's what the game is. You know? Uh, Sochi, nice. I actually gotta concentrate on this one, I guess. Um, so... Yeah, they've got... They've given general permission to use the stuff. Yet, the company that Danny Baranowski is with, a company called TuneCore, um, goes ahead and adds, their, adds his music to the co content ID matching system via their partners in music. Now, in music has a, a, a history of claiming uh, music that they don't own and that they should not be claiming because that's the same the same uh, company had a um, did a content ID claim on music that was in the game um, v, 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 v. that's actually the name of the game six V's and yeah the same company did that and they didn't, uh, they, they weren't supposed to. So, you know, it's pretty... It's pretty annoying if companies just claim stuff because they're, the people who made them... Fuck! The pe people who made that stuff are, uh, uh, partnered in some kind of form with, uh, one of the partner companies and... Uh, then they don't even like uh, ask them if they want uh, to be in the content ID system because uh, Danny didn't even know his music was uh, added to the content ID system because uh, I actually contacted, contacted him on Twitter as one of the first people uh, about this issue and uh, he wrote back that he uh, didn't have a clue what was going on there uh, up till now, it was on the 24th that I got uh, of January that I got the um, content ID match. It's now uh, what is it? The 8th of, of February or 7th? Yeah, when you see this, it's the 7th. Today is the 6th of February, and uh, I still uh, haven't got any response to my. Uh, 
to my uh, challenging of that claim. Uh, by the way, uh, congratulations, Super Flowball, to winning this one. Um, <laughs> poor Mew. I hate that track. I hate it. <sighs> Not as much as Garmish, but I hate it. Um, yeah, I actually found a track that I hate more than poor Mew. I like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the, the uh, content ID, the, the dispute actually says awaiting response by 24th of February. So they take a whole fucking month to uh, review this? Really? I mean, what the fuck? They take a whole fucking month to review a video that they falsely claim. Wow. That's one... Uh, I'm, I mean, it's it's really... For me, it's not that much of an issue. First of all, my Binding of Isaac series is not the most popular. Because... Uh, I guess it's because people don't... Uh, people on my channel, at least... Uh, don't have the time to watch, like, extensive amounts of uh, footage. Which is a Binding of Isaac episode for me, because uh, my runs usually go between 45 minutes and an hour 30. Depending on what. Could be over two hours if it's a breaking run, so... Yeah, that. And... Uh, so, I, I don't really... Uh, also, I don't get that many views on my videos anyway, so I don't uh, really uh, lose anything from not being able to monetize that one video. Um, but uh, for for people who actually uh, make an, an, an at least um, at least considerable amount of money from their videos with Binding of Isaac being the um, uh, most popular series like you know people like Northern Lion uh, who actually I think isn't doing anything else than YouTubing and uh, streaming on Twitch um, or people like Green9090 uh, who uh, has a considerable amount of subscribers and actually makes a pretty much double of what I make uh, or, or ten times what I make um, and at least a hundred times what I make of a Binding of Isaac video of his videos again congratulations I'm not concentrating is that that but um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, they, they take um, away uh, the ability to monetize that video and people actually lose money from that. And since, I mean, if, they, if the content ID match is fast enough, then it's, uh, then I had never, I never had the ability to claim that video. So I, the, there were never any ads put on that video and since the, um, other company doesn't do anything about it and doesn't put any ads there there are no ads during that uh, period of time so no one gets any money this is pretty much just screwing youtubers uh, out of a possibility that they clearly have and yeah I think that uh, YouTube should be at least as uh, hard on their uh, guidelines for claiming stuff that isn't on your channel, so for, for content ID matching, uh, as it is for, as they, as they do for, for uh, your actual content on your channel. So if you claim, if you allegedly, if you Claim stuff that you're not supposed to claim, like five or oh, ten times in a row, let's say, to make it a, a, a considerable amount. Um, then you should be just banned from the uh, whole content ID uh, 
uh, program because the, there are companies who claim stuff uh, that aren't in any way uh, copyright protected. So, you know, when they first switched over to the new content ID system, or, or the, the up, they, when they updated the content ID system so that, um, like they said, like YouTube said it, it was better. Well, anytime they do something better, it's worse, but hey. Um, When they first did that, uh, companies were even claiming uh, music from Incompetech.com. Royalty free music. That you're free to monetize as long as you give credit. Per definition. Because it's Creative Commons license uh, version 3.0. That's the license you see in the description down below under the whole... Um, cascade of titles that I'm using for this. Um, again, congratulations for winning that one. Uh, next competitor, I'm just gonna call you Diddy. <laughs> Did I actually say the last episode already? <laughs> yeah, um. Yeah, um. As I said, uh, claims that shouldn't be, um, that, that aren't legitimate should be uh, just as bad for that uh, particular uh, network as a copyright strike. Because, you know, they did... Um, They did threaten the MCNs that do gaming stuff, like my network, Zoomin, um, with copyright strikes um, to uh, actually keep all their uh, um, people as affiliates, so they don't they weren't wouldn't be responsible to for uh, uh, any content ID or copyright claims. You know, uh, on one hand, they they. Uh, scare uh, gaming MCNs uh, out of uh, actually supporting their partners because even Zoomin uh, now changed uh, their plans a little bit and said that you'd at least have to f uh, have 5,000 subscribers and 10,000 views a day to be able to become a managed channel which is in my uh, opinion a big fuck you in the face of all of of the, uh, the majority of their par partners because there's not many channels in the zoom in network that have 5,000 subs um, yeah and, and on the other hand YouTube says hey uh, if you have content that you want to claim then here's the content ID system. You have every right you can uh, and and can do anything you want. Uh, if people complain about it, then you don't have to respond immediately. You can take your time for a month, and um, uh, if you then remove it because that wasn't legitimate, then you're not getting any uh, uh, any penalty for that. I think that's a little bit of a of a uh, double standard there. Just saying. But double standards is kind of YouTube's thing. It's also other big companies. Oh, thank you for crashing there, Diddy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't have beaten you any uh, any other way. <laughs> Uh, uh. Garmish! Scheiß Garmish! Oh, I hate this track! What? <laughs> um. 
Um, yeah, so... I actually gotta concentrate on that one. As I said, double standards are kind of big companies things. Because, um, you know, I just did a let's play of the second episode of The Wolf Among Us. If you want to watch that, go ahead, please. Um, and the developers of that, Telltale Games, actually have a... Uh, don't have a, a let's play policy at all. They don't want you to uh, monetize videos of their uh, uh, video of their uh, um, of their games. So what I'm doing is actually a little bit illegal. But I'm do I don't care about that. You know, as long as I don't get an ID match or a, cop a content a copyright claim, I'm I'm indifferent. And actually, I don't think that many people get content uh, matches from Telltale. So yeah. Um, but because uh, I, I'm subscribed to hundreds of people who, okay, I'm subscribed to 180 people and at least 10 of them do a Wolf Among Us Let's Play. Um, and yeah, god damn it. And no one has, any, has had any issues with that, so yeah. But Telltale doesn't want people to uh, use their content. On the other hand, they give PewDiePie early access to The Wolf Among Us. So he can put out his first video at the same time that the thing releases, the game, uh, the second episode releases on Steam. Actually, Pewds was a little bit faster there with releasing than uh, um, Telltale was with uh, getting the episode up. Because the episode uh, released for me at uh, 8 p.m., Pewd's video was up at 7 p.m. Anyway, I won both of these tool tools, so that's nice. Um, the Forger, the following. <laughs> uh, who are you following? <laughs> I guess you're gonna be following me as a ghost in this in this uh, scenario. Unless, yeah, Bormio, probably not a thing where you're gonna follow me. I'm probably gonna follow you on this one. Because I hate Bormio, but you already know that. Hey, you've got this... You've got the... <laughs> We've got very similar uh, designs on our... Uh, Skiing suits. Partner look. <laughs> oh god. It's like racing my own ghost. Ha! Du scheiß Hund, du Thomas. Bah! Well, as I said, I'm gonna be following you. <sighs> and you know, I am kind of a little bit um, against buying stuff from companies that uh, don't allow Let's Plays of their games. Um, with Telltale, you know, I have never seen them claim a video uh, of, of, of The Walking Dead or The Wolf Among Us. So, and I've, I've actually never watched any other Let's Plays of games by them. They've done a lot of games, by the way. It's not just those two series. Um, there's actually a, a bundle of, of Telltale games... Um, that was on, on Steam sale recently. I don't know if it's still on sale. Just saying. So, uh, even though they say they don't want you to monetize it, they don't really uh, do anything about it, so I don't care. I'm 
still gonna buy their stuff uh, because they make amazing games. Other thing, uh, Nintendo on the other hand, or pretty much both Japanese companies that I know of, Nintendo and Konami, um, congrats for, on that win by the way. Um, Oh, I hate that track! What? <laughs> um, so, both Nintendo and Konami um, are actually very much against using their stuff. I'm amazed that I still have my Wario Land Let's Play up, so I guess they don't really care about old games. Um, Other thing is, oh God. I know that Konami at least uh, is actually content claiming um, uh, videos of their games. Like uh, they did um, Silent Hill. There's a the Silent Hill games that are by them. I don't know which. Uh, at least they did claim stuff. Uh, so. You know, actually, for my advent calendar, back last year, back in December, I uh, actually wanted to do one episode of uh, of the computer game for uh, the PC game for uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Of course, Konami has all the rights on everything Yu-Gi-Oh, so. Yeah, kind of the reason I didn't do it then, you know, because I had like uh, a modification for the Power of Chaos um, game and I wanted to do that for one episode because I, I really like the Yu-Gi-Oh card game and I really like the anime. And I'm talking about old school here and not the new ones. Like uh, the, the 5D stuff and that shit. Um, I, I really... I really stopped watching that there. <laughs> well, uh, congrats on winning that one too! The random generator really wants to fuck me in the butt today. And I do not like that. So much Bormio and so much Garmish. It's not even funny. Um, yeah, uh, next thing. Um, the whole content ID thing on YouTube is um, an opt-out kind of thing. So if you're a big company and you've got stuff on YouTube, then you're pretty much automatically content ID matching that stuff. Um, so the creators of Octodad, for instance, because that's uh, one of the most recent um, games that uh, had issues so to say, um, they uh, even tweeted out um, YouTube if we wanted you to protect, quote unquote, protect uh, our copyrights, then we'd uh, tell you. Holy shit! Uh, why isn't this an, an opt-in kind of thing? And actually, I think that should be an opt-in thing. If people actually want to uh, add their stuff to the content ID system, fine, they should, but there should not, shouldn't be any automatically adding, just because it's uploaded by a, by a MCN, and I don't know uh, how the whole, uh, the Octodad stuff got in there, but um, anyway, just because I, I remembered the tweet um, right now. I'm, I'm uh, talking way too much about content ID today.
and I'm way too little concentrating on actually beating someone here. <laughs> Although uh, on Garmisch and, and Bormio I don't even try because I know I hate the tracks and I don't even want to try. Uh. Congrats on that one as well. Kidbull, at least one track that I like. Thank you, random generator. Oh. Okay. So, the last episodes of this Let's Play will be the le in, on the next three days, of course, the um, race in Sochi. Um, with the last one coming up uh, on Monday, which is going to be the last 15 minutes or so of the race uh, that I'm going to record on Sunday evening. Just before the race ends. And... So on Monday, the last episode of this Let's Play, unfortunately. And I think I'm gonna actually start... Oh god. Fuck this turn. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna uh, start an uh, Amnesia custom story again. Yeah, crash there again. That's totally what I wanted to do. So, I guess on Tuesday I'm gonna start the second season, so to say, of Amnesia custom stories. Because there are custom stories coming out with a Machine for Pigs content, and um, I already have like three more that uh, 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 downloaded and installed that I want to uh, play, so yeah, uh, on Tuesday you can um, pretty much um, Expect me to do uh, the first episode of the next custom story. So all horror fans out there, uh, you have something to look forward to. Um, that season is of course going to go until uh, the next Frictional Games uh, horror game comes out, which is going to be Soma, which is going to come out 2015, I think. Damn it. Um, Margadena should actually be legitimately easy in comparison to Bormio and Garmisch, and probably even in comparison to uh, Kitzbühel. Damn. Uh, 120 is a little bit slow. <laughs> I've been recording for half an hour already. Nowhere near e the end of the duels. Oh, da, 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 da. 
That one was actually pretty good. I think I've now not taken the, the Tesla that well in uh, quite a long time. Good. Two or seven. Can't do better than that. You know, I did a two or five on the race. Was the race on sun? No, it wasn't. So I didn't even uh, train all the way. So at least I won one. <laughs> um, Phil Gamer six two oh one. Or oh, 6201. However, you wanna say it. Bormio on snow. I hate you, game. So much. Good. Round here. Over here. Ah. Oh. So yeah. I guess I legitimately have a chance here. Unless I crash into a gate. <sighs> oh yeah, of course. Um what's also gonna come out on Monday along with the last episode or pretty much on the next scheduled um, on the next schedule option um, so one hour after the last episode of this let's play is going to be the crash video I just gotta decide yet uh, I've just yet to decide um, what music I'm going to use for that this, this year because I've definitely got enough crashes. Because I've um, I've been recording um, my off-screen or off let's play uh, runs too, just for for uh, the uh, crashes. Yeah. Well, that one's mine then. Where I got the you know. On sun, at least. Right here. Suppress that. Get around here. Now suppress that this time, please. So, yeah. I just can't seem to get that uh, one uh, jump there anymore. Ha, that, 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 don't go into the gate. Yeah, that was kind of clear.
Well, I guess I did the jump better. Goodbye. That could have been closer to the gate. That could have been without using the jump key. And that could have been without fucking jumping. Okay, two or six. Actually, pretty good time. Last duel against uh, who was that? Phil Gamer. <sighs> Bangin on snow. I don't know why, but all the Wangen runs we did uh, uh, up till now on this episode were snow runs, weren't they? Yeah, also, after talking so much about content ID uh, claims and negative stuff, a little bit of positive stuff. So, we're currently 5 subscribers away from 200, which I find to be really, really awesome because um, if I get like 5 subscribers within the next few days, um, that would be perfect for my anniversary of uh, being partnered. Because as you know, I got partnered in February of By the way, I have no clue what I'm gonna do for a uh, 200 sub special. Because, you know, the first time, uh, the, the 100 sub special was, of course, a compilation. But I do these at least bi monthly by now, anyway. I mean, up till now, I've done them monthly. Since the. Since March 2013, I think. Um. Yeah, I think in March I did the best of 2013 so far, and from then on I did one every month. Um, yeah, so I won that one too. Sorry, Phil Game Man, no win for you. And Lucas... Korlinok? Weird name. Sorry, but really weird name. Uh, I'm just gonna stay with Lucas. 
Um, if I ever mention your name, that is. Which I usually don't do during the run. Only if I want to congratulate you if you beat me. Which is a total possibility on Bormio. Fuck. Totally didn't want to jump there. Holy shit! Damn it. Oh, you obviously crashed. Well, that gives me a little bit of a head start here. So I can just make sure that I don't crash and it should be all good. Uh, we're nearing 50 minutes on this episode. Did you crash a second time? I don't blame you to crash on Bormio. Well, that could have been way faster. What was my best time on Bormio? 2 or 3? Well, yeah. I guess it's okay for not training that for a long time. Well, anyway. That's it for the duels. Pretty nice statistics here. Uh, the very high numbers, of course, come from uh, people who um, just gave up duels because they didn't like the settings that were chosen for them or uh, that they just didn't want to send me. Um, yeah, anyway. I guess I'll see you tomorrow for the first race episode. And then the day after tomorrow on Sunday for the second race episode and a third race episode on Monday, which is going to be the last episode of this Let's Play. Ah, uh, Well, until then, like and favorite if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and until next time, I'm WW Deadman. Bye.